Has the fact that Flo is trying to win, that you're starting, that uh, the, the, the goal is to succeed despite everything else that you know gets suggested and said and done, does that raise his respect level in the locker room? Um, the answer to the very long, complicated question, because there's a lot of things that go into right. that, is yes. It, it does, I, I think. Um, and I think one of the things you pointed to of me being out there, um, you know, I, I just think, you know, that's, that is made, that decision is made knowing that we're trying to win football games. Not to say that the other guy's not as good or whatever it is, but if you look at a really old, crusty guy and a young guy that everybody wants to see, you know, for me to be out there, that means we're trying to win football games, and that, that definitely resonates. I, uh, I've seen it every every which way, you know, but uh, just continue truly to focus one week at a time, put everything I have into the next opponent. That's kind of what I learned over the years, the best way to do it, and that's the way I so what you're saying is you want to play next year? Don't <laughs> be twisting my words. <laughs> Kalen Balaj is the starter, but he's he's averaging less than two yards per carry. What have you said? What do you want him to know? Uh, I'm sh I'm sure you you tried to help in some way. Well, I think not just with Kalen, but with a lot of guys, and even even me throughout my career. Confidence is such a big thing, and. You know, sometimes it just takes one big run or, you know, a big catch or, you know, he, some of the stuff that Kalen did last week in pass protection was so valuable to what we were trying to accomplish and something that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. So there's a lot of ways that he helps us, um, but we've got to get him going a little bit better and, um, you know, there's different ways to do that. But I think confidence is a huge thing. And I think with everybody, especially just being a young team, that's what you continue to stress. and. Uh, you know, when you don't think about all the things that could go wrong and all the different things on play and just, you know, go out there confident and play football like you have since you were a kid, a lot of times it works out for the better. Kind of the same. Um, the great thing about this offense is the ball is going to get spread around. Everybody's going to get their opportunities. It's just a matter of uh, me doing a nice job, picking and choosing who gets the opportunity and when, and then those guys taking advantage of it. So uh, not necessarily going to force it to one guy because he doesn't have enough touches, but We'll try to spread it out and just continue to be confident in all those guys. I, I guess as a whole, how have you kind of you know, kept your body in, in the shape you need to be to play? Really? I, uh, I feel good. Uh, nobody's going to write a book about my training regimen or my diet. I know <laughs> that. But uh, I was talking to uh, Lorenzo Alexander, you know, 15 year guy as well, uh, before the game. And uh, there's just some years, for whatever reason, you get you know, bumps and bruises and stuff lingers all year long and there's other years where you're getting hit a bunch but nothing really lingers and that's kind of more yeah, I mean I feel I feel as good right now as I did I was gonna say day one of the off season but, <laughs> but maybe like, you know, a few weeks into the off season when I got back into shape, uh, I feel I feel really good right now. My whole I never had to rely on or never had a big arm, so there's a lot of different things that you know, I do, uh, you know, either to counteract that or just just the way that I play and knowing my limitations and my strengths. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, my arm is as strong, if not stronger now, than it's probably ever been. But, you know, that's not that's not saying much. Probably still puts me in the bottom half of the league. You do put your entire body into it at times, I see. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, team made a bunch of roster moves again today. Uh, what has it been like? for you to see so many players come and go all season long. Here we are in mid-November and still for the ball. In well, it's been, it's been a unique year, and you know, that comes up sometimes with injuries and other things, but um, there's been a lot of uh, kind of churning on the bottom of the roster and just a lot of turnover. And, Starters, uh, too. You, just, you, you try to make, make the best out of it, and you know, I think uh, some of it is you find the guys that you can rely on and lean on, lean on those guys a little bit. And, other guys, you got to try to get up to speed, and uh, they got to get it figured out, you know, or there'll be another guy in the next week. So um, there's a lot of those things that we don't control as players. We just go out there and play, and uh, that's kind of how we have to approach it. As a QB, are you cognizant of touches what other guys may have in, in game? Uh, 
I mean, yes and no. Uh, it depends on, like when I was playing with Brandon Marshall, I didn't have to be cognizant of it. He always let me know. You know. Um, <laughs> so things that make him a good defense coach. Obviously, you've seen him as a head coach this year. What from that experience had you, you know, learned about him as a defensive coach? Of Texas, obviously. I mean, he's just like he likes his players to be able to play fast. He doesn't he doesn't want you thinking too much. He wants you to go out there and make plays and put you in the first position to do that. Does it, I know every game is special to try to get a win. Does this feel a little bit different because of where you're going and, like you said, your grandparents are going to be there? Oh yeah, on a personal level, I, I definitely. Uh, it's going to feel different for me uh, just to know how many people are in the stands. And I think we all know I look, you know, see who's in the stands. Uh, I'm, I'm excited just to uh, see my family, uh, see them, uh, watch me play. It's going to mean a lot. I just want to go out there and uh, just get away from them. Is there one family member who you're a little bit worried about who uh, might see you maybe cheering for the Browns? Uh, family member? I was talking about my friends. Like, they go to the Browns game pretty much every year. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see what they're going to pull out. And I know a lot of my friends, they love the Browns. So I'm expecting you know, one of them going to wear a Dolphin jersey to a Browns hat. Or something. How much do you think you'll be fueled once you're in games about not being drafted? Is that a chip that you think you'll add? Well, it's, a, it's a chip on my shoulder always. Even when I go out there on the practice field, I try to show it every day. So it's a big chip, and it'll be a big chip on it. How's it been here with some of the veterans here? I love you getting from the bond. How have they helped you? Oh, they helped me a lot. Um, in meeting rooms, on the field, even even everything I do, we've been all side the field. Uh, we have team D-line dinners on Thursdays. And it's great bonding with the guys, I and mean, I love my team. Is there a danger of trying to do too much to prove that you belong? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm gonna go do what I gotta do, man. Whatever coach asked me to do. I mean, every time you're on the field, you gotta talk out there on defense. If you're not talking, then you're you're wrong. You know that that's really all, all you can say about that. So I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing that's really changed. We're just going out there, we're working, and we're making sure that we're on top of our P's and Q's. Uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to go against Bay. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge. I know he's going to be ready to go, just like the rest of this team. But we're going to be ready to go as well. Oh, uh, practice! I mean, it was always a little battle in practice, but uh, at the end of the day, this is the NFL, and you know, there's no friends, there's no buddies out there. You got to go out there and play 60 minutes. Right? You're the veteran now in the secondary, Bobby, Rashad, Ben, a lot of young guys. How did you maybe your role or you, you change? Uh, it's just really, just really, I got over communicate, you know, with Bobby and Rashad, you know, the X. Uh, you know, everyone kind of like, you know, got the gist of defense, but now, I mean, as you can see, more than 80% of the second day, you know, weren't even here in training camp. <laughs> so, uh, you know, now for me, it's more of a communication, like, you know, guys know what to do, but in the game, you know, give that reminder.